The caribou made the same journey as people from Asia across the Bering Land Bridge. Nomadic hunters probably followed the tracks of migrating caribou into the New World. They are highly prized for their meat, insulating hides and sinew. Caribou are familiar to man, but man is familiar to caribou. The great herds have long been wary of the threat of the human hunter. These hunters use their intimate knowledge of the natural world to their advantage. Staying downwind to avoid betraying their presence, the hunters disguise themselves in caribou capes to get close enough to launch an attack. Kill will provide Setan's people with enough food for just one day. Night on the tundra. The temperature plummets. The time to take protection from the merciless cold. The time to stay alert to dangers that prowl under the cover of darkness. larger and more ferocious than any lion. seven-inch daggers, designed for puncturing flesh and severing arteries. Ambush specialists that disembowel and bleed their victims to death. They're lucky. 
The saber-tooth has never seen an animal with fire in its hands. But these people will always have to be on their guard. There are other monsters they are yet to meet. The saber-tooth is the least of their worries. Until now, the giant ground slope has lived in a world without man. On first encounter, it's fearless. No animal of human size has ever posed a threat. Chi Yo and her brother can even walk up and touch this giant. The sloth is vulnerable, and man will be quick to exploit its innocent nature. Strangers arrive. Si Tan and Shi Yo are understandably anxious. They thought they were alone. share their world with people armed with far more powerful weapons. With the shock of this encounter, their life will never be the same again. Now their future is balanced on a knife edge. Kima! 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 